Welcome, aviation enthusiasts, and welcome back to Histories of Airliners. Today, we're taking a detour off the beaten path of aviation history to explore a fascinating yet somewhat forgotten aircraft, the Douglas DC-5. This lesser-known sibling of the legendary Douglas series of airliners holds a unique place in the story of flight. It was a plane brimming with innovation, but its potential was sadly cut short. Let's delve into the captivating story of the DC-5 from the drawing board to its brief yet impactful career. The late 1930s were a heady time for aviation. The Douglas DC-3, a revolutionary airliner, had just taken control of the skies, making air travel faster, more reliable, and accessible to the masses. Airlines were eager for more, but Douglas Aircraft wasn't content to rest on its laurels. They envisioned a plane specifically designed for shorter routes, a niche the DC-3 didn't quite fill. Enter the Douglas DC-5. This sleek, twin-engine aircraft took its first flight in 1939, offering comfortable seating for 16 to 22 passengers and boasting a choice of powerful engines. But what truly set the DC-5 apart was its design. It wasn't just another pretty plane. It was a trailblazer. With a design developed for the United States Army Air Force A-20 Havoc attack aircraft, the DC-5 was the first airliner to incorporate a shoulder-mounted wing this innovative design offered pilots superior visibility and improved the aircraft's overall stability. But the DC-5 didn't stop there. It also pioneered the use of tricycle landing gear in commercial aviation. This configuration, now standard on most aircraft, made takeoffs and landings smoother and safer, a major advantage for both pilots and passengers. Unfortunately, the DC-5's future was destined for a harsh turn. Just as it was poised to take off into the commercial world, another kind of takeoff happened. The outbreak of World War II. Airlines slammed the brakes on new aircraft purchases and resources shifted towards the war effort. As a result, a mere five civilian DC-5s ever saw commercial service. All five of these aircraft would eventually see military service during their careers. The prototype aircraft would, for a couple of years, be the personal aircraft of the founder of Boeing, William Boeing, until it was then sold to the United States Navy in 1942 and redesignated as an R3D personnel transport. The first production aircraft was originally sold to KLM. However, due to World War II, the aircraft initially served in that airline's West Indies branch around the Caribbean and then transferred to KLM's East Indies branch. Again, the war reared its ugly head and the aircraft made its way down to Australia and flew personnel for the Allied Directorate of Air Transport. It would eventually be scrapped in Australia in 1946. The second production aircraft had a similar history to the first, and in effect, all five aircraft built of this type. Again, an aircraft designated for service with KLM until events made it find its way to Australia. This aircraft, however, would then survive long enough to be used by the nascent Israeli Air Force as a personnel transport and makeshift bomber during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. It would then be used as a training airframe for a technical school until it was scrapped in the 1960s. The third aircraft was in use in Australia by the Allied Directorate of Air Transport when it was damaged beyond repair by an Imperial Japanese air raid on Port Moresby in August of 1942. The fourth and final civilian production model didn't make it to Australia like its siblings, but was captured by the Imperial Japanese Army in the Dutch East Indies and taken to Tokyo for testing. It was reportedly scrapped by the Japanese government in 1945. While civilian production came to a screeching halt, the DC-5's adaptability shone through. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps saw its potential and designated it as the R-3D. This military variant served valiantly in various roles including transporting troops and cargo, conducting reconnaissance missions, and even training pilots. The United States Navy bought three of this type that had been directly built as an R-3D. One of these aircraft was destroyed during the war, and the other two were scrapped at the war's end. The United States Marine Corps bought four of these type for personnel transport and as light paratrooper aircraft, with all examples being scrapped at war's end. The 
Codes, commercial life span was brief. The DC-5's impact on aviation history is undeniable. Its pioneering design features, the shoulder-mounted wing, and tricycle landing gear became the standard for future airliners. These innovations not only improved passenger comfort and safety, but also revolutionized the way pilots handle these powerful machines. Today, when you look at any modern airliner soaring through the sky, you're seeing a direct descendant of the innovative Douglas DC-5. Check out our links at the end for more Douglas aircraft-related videos. And if you wish, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of my YouTube channel by joining this channel's Coach Class membership level. Being either a Patreon or YouTube channel member will allow you the benefits of early viewing of new videos, and you will get to help choose the next video. Patreon and YouTube channel membership allows greater support for this channel that will allow me to make more video-based presentations, vice picture-based ones, Thank you for all your support.